A Connolly Springs man who was convicted of indecent liberties more than 25 years ago has now been charged with failing to report a change of address. The suspect was arrested earlier this week by authorities here in Burke County. He has a court date scheduled next week. 44-year-old Marcus D'Antonio Barnes of Miller Bridge Road in Connolly Springs was arrested Monday by Burke County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony failure to report a change of address as a sex offender. Barnes is on the North Carolina Sex Offender and Public Protection Registry as a result of a conviction in Nash County. He was convicted of indecent liberties with a minor on April 15th of 1999 in connection to a crime committed in January of 1997. Barnes was arrested shortly after 4 p.m. Monday at an address on Miller Bridge Road in Connolly Springs. He was brought to the Burke County Jail under a $1,000 secured bond. A district court appearance is scheduled next Monday, June 24th. The next suspect is a woman who has been charged with multiple drug offenses by authorities here in Burke County. 43-year-old Yasmin Velasquez Hernandez, whose address was not listed, was arrested Sunday by Burke County Sheriff's officers. She's charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Velasquez Hernandez was arrested shortly before 11 p.m. Sunday at an address on Sundown Road in Morganton. She was brought to the Burke County Jail under $5,000 secured bond. A superior court date is set for July 15th. 26-year-old Pedro Simon Lopez Lopez of South College Street in Morganton was arrested Saturday by Morganton Public Safety Officers. He's charged with felony assault by strangulation, inflicting serious bodily injury. He was taken to the Burke County Jail in Morganton under $15,000 secured bond. A district court date was scheduled this past Monday. No upcoming court dates were listed as of the time I'm filing this report. And reporting from Burke County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News.